He is a multi-talented person. He acts, he directs, he produces, he's a martial artist. He choreographs stunt fighting. He is a supermodel. Like, bro, you kind of know this call. <laughs> you hear him laughing now, so I'm going to start introducing him right now. His name is Loic Mabanza. What's up, Loic? How you doing, What's bro? up, my brother? I'm doing fantastic. That's kind of an intro, bro. You killed it, but I'm humbled man. by what you said. Thank you. I appreciate you. Hey. I mean it, man. It's always inspired me, man. Especially with your way of life, your perspective. That you can maybe share a turning point in your life that triggered or inspired you and motivated you to really chase your dreams. Uh, you know, to make that move from Paris to New York or to LA and just to chase that next dream. Is there any any turning points that you can acknowledge in, in your life that you can share with us? The thing with me is that there is many. There is many turning points actually in my life. Um, but going in general is the fact that I had nothing to lose anymore. You know, when your back is against the wall, you can only see forward. It's either you stay there or you see forward. But I couldn't go backward. I had nothing to lose because I had nothing at certain points. You know, I didn't have the support that I, was, that I wanted to have. I didn't have the support from my family, from my friends, from my country, from anything. So, um, um, and also coming from France, you know, like back in the day, especially um, being a dancer is not really a job, you know, or it's a job, it's very limited. You do a few musical, you do a few appearances on TV or a few music video, but it's not like a culture the same way it is in America. And this is why when I first wanted to be a dancer, I was like, oh, I gotta go in America because I wanna dance for the best artists in the, on the planet. I wanna tour the world. I wanna dance with Michael Jackson, with Usher, with Madonna, with not Gini, Madonna, I didn't even say it, but I said I wanna dance for the best artists on the planet. And Madonna is the best artist on the planet, so I'm thankful for that. Um, but when you say that in France, it's like, it's like coming from the favelas and saying I wanna be the president of the United States. It's like, shut up, you're crazy. Like, it doesn't make sense what you're saying right now. Like, you. you who did that before and how can you do it? Do you know people there? You know, there's so many things that, that question and, and also they don't even know that word, you know? Because like I say, it's not really a culture. So even for the dancers, like my, my crew, I mean, my ex-crew, they don't even believe in me. And those are the people who I dance with every single day. Like wow. I spend more time with, with my dance crew than with my family. And even those people didn't even believe. For two reasons, they didn't believe that it was possible, and they didn't believe in me. You're not That's good tough. enough. You know what I mean? Like so many yes. other things. So I had to deal with it, and it's very easy for people to get discouraged and to feel hopeless, especially when things sound in, uh, insurmountable. But for some reason, I never felt this way, and I actually always wanted to prove something, but not to prove them wrong. I didn't really care about proving them wrong. I always wanted to prove that it's possible. I was always inspired by the people that I admire. Because when you say that proving somebody wrong and proving, proving them that it's possible seems the same on the paper, but the impact is different. Completely. You know, if you prove somebody wrong, you're like, hey, look, I did it, boom. And then it's gonna look at your face and be like, okay, cool. Then what? Right, right. Then what? Now it's gonna feel offended or it's gonna feel like with a little bit of defenses because you're against him. So no, and move on with his life, you move on with your life. But if you, if you, your intention is to prove somebody that is possible, now you have a positive impact on him because even if he doubted you and you say, look, I, I, I told you it was possible. Now you inspire them to feel like, oh, so maybe me too, I can actually get out there and, and do what I want to do, you know? So I wanted to have that impact instead of just proving them wrong. Okay, and uh, yeah, so that, that was always my goal and was always pushed by this negativity. And at the same time, I was very pushed by the passion. You know, and, and, and when you have nothing to lose and when your passion is the only thing that makes you happy, you want to just go there and stay there all the time. You want to dance all the time. You, you know, when I didn't know I wanted to be a dancer until I do my first music video. When I did my music video, I received a contract and he says, uh, professional dancer, Lloyd Mabanza, blah, 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 300 euros. I was like, they're giving me money to dance? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You know, I would yeah. see at school, but I was like, if we can get money for it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So. Man, that's beautiful. Thanks for sharing that, man. That's very powerful, and and I appreciate the fact that you are an impact now. You 
have been an impact for a while and I'm sure that you're impacting people that doubted you and not to have that perspective but you know hopefully you're inspiring them the way that you're wanting to do by your actions um, yeah yeah, yeah, hopefully I, I do more. I'm very happy that I, I can say that I did because I received the 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 feedback from them. You know, even the people didn't believe. Like, and I actually can see it even in my family. They're all so pumped. They're doing stuff. My my brother is a dancer. My sister is a dancer. They're both incredible. They they're working professionally. My mom is wow. trying to be an entrepreneur now. Like, there's so many stuff that's happening, and I'm like, wow. I'm very happy that this is all I wanted. Yeah. You know. They're doing things that they that's never thought they could do. To, bro. I want yeah. to everybody to be able to change the situation. Exactly. And, and to me, that's what greatness to... is. That's why I strive for greatness. Yeah. I don't give a... F I don't give a... I don't care <laughs> about fame. <laughs> I, I don't care about fame, per se. I've never chased fame. That's why I wasn't... Actually, that was a problem of mine. I wasn't active on social media at all. I never posted dance videos because I didn't really care about that. Yeah. But... I always wanted to inspire people because I wanted to be great and to me greatness is inspire others to want to inspire others. Ooh, that's beautiful. You know? Absolutely. So that's always what I wanted and when I see that it works on many people, on targeted people, my family, my friends, the people that followed me since I left, my little bit of fans or whatever, I'm like, wow, I want to do it in a bigger scale now because yeah. if my voice can change people's life, let's use it. Let's use it. It makes me happy, it makes you happy, it changes your life, it's a win-win situation, you know? Absolutely.